Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking bar chart race using Flourish Studio. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to look at is what are we actually covering here and basically we're looking at data visualization tools that can help us create bar chart animations. So how do we actually do this? Basically we need to prepare the data, make sure it's in the right format, uh, that the tool can use to actually turn it into a bar chart animation. Then we need to pick a visualization tool. For us, that's gonna be easy. We're gonna be using Flourish uh, Studio and then you can export and share your data. So let me give you an example of some data sets that you can use. So here I'm on this website, which is called Kaggle and I'm looking at the top streamed Spotify songs from year 2010 to 2023. I've chosen this one because there's a lot of things that I can actually do with this. But once you've picked your data set, all you need to do is download it and then you can open it up in Excel and we can play around with the data a little bit. So this is the file that I've just downloaded from Kaggle and it's just not quite prepared for Flourish Studio just yet. So Flourish Studio likes to have the year going across ways like this and then whatever you want to have your categories on the left hand side in your rows. So the easiest way to do that is to convert this and slice this data using pivot tables and I'll show you how to actually do that. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we are just going to highlight all of that information and we're just going to go to insert and we're going to turn that into a table. And now you've got these, uh, you know, little things that you can do at the top. So now that it's, that's in a table, that's pretty cool. But we need to now summarize this with pivot tables. So if you just press OK, and now you get access to this. All right. So here you can see your filters, columns, rows and values. And basically what we need to do is we need to set up our years. And we don't want years for the values, we want years as our columns. So we want that going across. Now, what you want your categories to be in your rows, totally up to you. I think to keep this one short, I'm just gonna use main genre, all right? And I'm just gonna dump that into rows. So you can see all my rows there. And then we actually do need the values, which is going to be my streams as well. So the streams will be in values. So now that's pretty much getting the data ready for Flourish. Then what you can do is you can just highlight all of that. I don't even need grand total to be honest. And I'm just going to make a new sheet and I'm just going to get rid of and clean up uh, little bits and pieces that I do not want. So I don't want the, the blank section. I don't want any grand totals and I'm just going to call this uh, genre and I'll get rid of the first uh, section over there. So now I have my genre and I have all my data there and that's ready to go. So all I need to do is save this as a Excel file or a CSV and then we can go to Flourish. So now that we're in Flourish, all we want to do is create a new visualization and then we want to scroll down to the bar chart race. So now once you have selected that, it will have some data that is already populated and it's ready to go, but we don't want this data. So we're gonna go to the data tab over here and then what we can do is we can upload our data. Now there are a few ways that you can actually do this. Um, if you upload your data and you set your values and it still doesn't work, you can always just come in here and copy and paste your data in manually. So you want to have the years over here as well as the data and all your labels and whatever. But all you need to do is just click on this button and what we wanna do is we wanna upload the data file. We don't wanna merge it. So now once you're ready to import it, I'm just gonna import it there. I can see that this looks exactly like what I had uh, before in my Excel sheet. And then what I can do is I can just fix up the labels and the values. So the labels are going to be the genres and that's pretty cool. The values are going to be from B to O and that is correct. The categories I'm going to set to column A, which is going to be the different 
um, genres and you can see here what happens to the bar chart and the images I'm just gonna leave images for now so now if I go back to preview now you can see we have all of the genres over here and we have the time frame at the bottom and you can see which one is the most popular now there are a few things that we can do in here to change things up you can change the theme if you like you can change uh, the setup over here so let's say I don't want um, you know all these uh, genres I only want to pick five so now I've only got the top five genres over there if I want to go and change some colors I can change the colors to whatever I like or you can do it by you know the different bars etc uh, if you want to change the labels or anything like that you can so that takes off these values over here I think that looks pretty good the counter and totalizer like we don't really need the total so I can take that off if you want to make this uh, value bigger you can do that in here Timed captions, I'm not going to touch anything. Controls, I'm not going to touch anything. If you want the legend, you can keep it on or you can turn it off if you like. And then we have the axis as well. Like if you want to make that bigger or smaller, you can do that as well. The annotations, the timeline and animations, you can make this uh, shorter, longer. For example, if we do say 60 seconds, now you can see that the numbers are jumping up a little bit more slowly and we can also add a header in here so the title of this is going to be uh, top five genres uh, on Spotify 2010 to 2023 and you can see that now we have a title up there so that's looking pretty cool uh, we can make the font bigger smaller or your normal stuff and you can add a footer down the bottom if you want so the final thing I'm gonna look at is just to fix up this text because it's very hard to see so all you need to do is go to labels and you can play around with some of these settings like the labels on bars that makes it look a little bit better and you can also change the size as well just so that you can make sure that you see all the data there now you can export and publish this directly from here or what you can do is you can just uh, take a screen recording of that and then you know edit it and put it nicely in wherever it needs to go. So anyways guys that's it for this short tutorial on how to make a bar chart race using Flourish Studio. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.